Thank you, Tony. We're working new developments tonight in the sudden closure of two Smithfield restaurants. It's a story we've been tracking since last month when both Fayel locations shut down without notice, then reopened briefly before closing again for good. Well, now the Attorney General's office has received hundreds of consumer complaints and they want answers from the owners. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now from Smithfield with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. This is the civil investigative demand letter that was sent by the Attorney General's office to the owners of Fial's restaurant. They're requesting that the owners show up to the office July 20th to answer questions about why they would sell gift certificates, hundreds of them, and then close down without any warning. When Call 12 for Action showed up Tuesday afternoon, Fayal's signs were still up, but doors locked and a sign on the door said the restaurant next door as a gesture of good faith would honor a portion of the gift certificates from Fayal's. A far cry from just last month when Eyewitness News was able to catch up with Fayal's owner who told us his restaurant was here to stay. I can understand their, uh, their concern, frustration, and panic. We had a sale pending and uh, it took a little longer than I expected and uh, I panicked. Uh, there were some hiccups in it and um, but we're back on. We're here. We're going to honor every certificate uh, and hopefully we're here for a long time. But that was not the case. Shortly after this interview, Fiel's closed down, this time for good. And now more than 300 former customers who bought gift certificates have filed complaints with the Attorney General's office. The AG's office is looking into the possibility the owners, Jose and Amelia Ferrara, were allegedly in violation of several laws, including engaging in conduct that creates confusion or misunderstanding and engaging in an, any act that is unfair or deceptive to the consumer. Now, the reason for the civil investigative demand is really just to get those owners in with the attorney general's office with the consumer protection unit just to talk to them about what they can do to answer to all of these complaints against them about the gift certificates if they fail to show up then according to the attorney general's office the next step is court i'm susan hogan eyewitness news